Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, well, uh, this morning, uh, me and my wife, um, we are gonna take you guys um, uh, fishing, okay? Um, this time of the year, um, especially right now, um, I, you know, always come to this boat dock and we, we are here at Longview Lake in Missouri. So we will be uh, fishing for crappie and see what happens. I'll be using jigs and minnows. Uh, this is what I use. Um, just two small, like six foot pole. And um, <clears throat> I have a bucket of minnow right here. And let's see if we can get some, okay? This morning is very sunny. Um, uh, not that uh, windy. It's about uh, 50, almost 60 degree. Um, in the mid 50, let's say. But uh, let's see what happens. Um, <clears throat> if we do <clears throat> get some, uh, we'll um, probably uh, bring them home and um, uh, cook them. Um, and I'll show you how I uh, fry up my fish. And uh, yep, uh, let's see what happens. Come along and uh, see if we can get some, all right? Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, we'll be fishing on the boat dock, okay? So uh, uh, this is the ideal thing if you are like a beginner a fisherman. And it's very easy. Uh, so uh, it's basically just just try to uh, get the fish off the dock okay and here uh, there's no size limit and there's no um, <clears throat> um, uh, possession limits okay so it's it's unlimited uh, you know um, but uh, we won't be uh, catching a lot if if we do get some we will only get about like five or six to bring home and um, see if we could get some all right uh, again follow me and let's go Okay, Alright guys, uh, well this is the uh, part of the uh, dock that we will we'll be fishing on and uh, basically uh, I will be using minnows and uh, we get a drop down like about 10 to 15 feet down uh, using 4 pound test line okay so our main objective is to catch some crappies and uh, yep yeah, uh, let's see what happened and uh, Let's see if we get some, and hopefully, uh, we could bring some, and um, and I'll show you how to cook them, and uh, we have them for dinner. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, well, um, this is how uh, I do it. Um, you know, this is dog fishing. So, uh, yeah, um, it's a good thing that the owner of this place uh, allow us to uh, fish on the dock. So uh, I just put some minnow out and. Uh, one pole is my fishing pole, the other one is my wife. So let's see what happens. If I get some, then I'll see if I can get uh, it on um, on videos again. Okay? Yeah, Hi guys. <laughs> there you go, our first crappie. Okay, let's put it in the bucket. First crappie of the day, and uh, it's still early, so we might get some more. All right, guys. So we get uh, get some more minnows. There's a minnow. 
minnows. There's the minnows. I just hook him up like that and throw it down. Just got another bite right there, but uh, I took my bait, so uh, it's probably a small one. So let's get it, uh, a crack at it again, see what happens. We got one here, guys. Uh -huh, there you go. All right. Finally. Finally. These are good eating, guys. I'll show you how to uh, how I uh, cook them, okay? Look at this. No wonder it's been stealing my bait. It's just a small one. But you know what? You get to fry them up. <laughs> nah. I was just joking with you guys. We, we get to let them go. Too small. <laughs> yeah, that was a small one, so. We let him go. Uh, hopefully, um, we get a bigger one next time, okay? Alright, guys, we got another one now. Oh, it feels one. bigger. Oh, yes. Oh, that's <laughs> right. a bigger one. Ooh. Look at that, guys. You know what? Good thing that we let that one go because uh, he went and called his big brother. <laughs> and, and this is the big brother right here. So. This is a good eating size crappie, okay? Yeah, we just we just throw the small one back and it's a matter of just like uh, not even a minute. So let's give it a try again, see what happens. Alright guys, there's another one. Lucky. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I hope I got this on camera. <laughs> okay, so I caught this fish and it it got off the hook. So it was still sitting right there floating, not knowing anything. So I, I just reached and grabbed it. <laughs> that was so lucky right there. <laughs> I hope you got that on video. All right, come on. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, we have four fish right now, and uh, we only been here for like half an hour, so uh, let's see if we can get some more. Gosh, but that was really lucky though. Oh,
been like five minutes after we caught that one. And we got another one. It's a beautiful crappie. And again, um, uh, lake, uh, uh, this lake right here, it doesn't have any size limit. And uh, yeah, but these are the best eating size right here for a deep fry. Let's see if we can get some more, okay? Oh yeah, you got one huh? Another one. Oh, the papa. Good job. Good job. Guys, we got a small one right here. We get to let it go. It's too small. There you go guys, another crappy, but it's too small, so I'm going to let it go, uh, we got enough already. Just as I let that one go, I got another bite right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that guys. I got a nice white bass. So. This is a white bass, a baby white bass. There you go. Very nice. I'm gonna get a lady go too. Alright, so uh, here you go. Alright, guys, let's see if we can get some more. We get some bait in the water. Alright, it's my wife's turn. So, uh, Seems like we have a bite here. No? No. Uh, the fish probably let go. No? No? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we get a, a put it back in the water and let's see what happens. Uh, it's my wife's turn to fish now, so uh, I'll be uh, on the camera. Hey, your point you know that you know they are you put all you do not that she might when they draw it, you know, she thought. It's not that good though. Yeah, it's not that good. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one right here. Hold on, okay. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, you got it. Did you get it? Oh, she just missed this one too. Uh, it's probably a small one. Yeah, put it back in the water. Man. See, you look to not there. It's okay. I'm not good fishing though. It's okay, they will come back. They will come back. Yeah, she's better at hunting squirrel, shooting squirrel than fishing. <laughs> okay, let's see what happened, guys. <laughs> this is very intense. Okay, come on. Okay, slowly lift up. You got it? Okay, oh, you got it? Oh, she got it, she got it. I think she got it. Let's see what happened. Did she get it? Oh, oh missed it too. All right. 
Okay, let's try it again, all right? Yeah, put it back down there. Okay, there you go, hold on. Got it, got it. All right, she's got one. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Come on, hurry up, bring it up, bring it up. Yep, that's a good size one right there. Look at that. Look at that. After uh, what? Three or four attempts, she finally got a crappie right there. A nice eating size. Beautiful crappie. All right, put it back in the bucket and uh, let's see if she can get some more. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Throw in the water? Yeah, just throw in the water. All right, guys. Uh, here's the. Uh, it's all the fish that we got right now. Uh, there you go. Right there. So uh, there's like two, four, five, six, six crappy. She's getting that bait up right now. Look at all these minnows that we got right here. There's a whole bunch of minnows in there. Pick a small one. Yeah, there you go. No, oh, they're slippery, huh? bait up, throw them back in the water. Hey, you put your name, put it in your phone, no toy to Jenna. But that's a toilet, she might do hot choice, it's all Jay, that's not a toilet to learn. Jay, and then she thought more, a car to hope a day, a shashi pair for a toilet. All right, guys, uh, my wife just put the bait down and let's give it a couple of minutes and see what happens. All right, guys and girls. Uh, well, right after my wife caught her fish, um, she decided not to fish anymore and just uh, man the camera. So I am guess I'll be doing the rest of the fishing. Uh, another nice crappie my wife caught one I caught about uh, four or five there you go I guess we get a uh, give it one more try see if we can get one more um, to make it to make it eight so uh, we'll be heading back home now so uh, let's see what happens uh, if we get the uh, last one in, okay? I guess this will be uh, the last fish of the day. Uh, we got a total of uh, eight fishes. So, uh, yeah, it'll be dinner tonight, okay? So uh, let's get everything together and, uh, and get back home. And um, I'll show you guys how I cook them, okay? All right.
There you go. And there it is. That's all the fish that we caught. We spent about two hours here. And uh, yeah. All right. See you back at home and see you in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, gals. Uh, well, um, it is uh, the evening now, so we are preparing uh, the fish that we just caught er earlier this morning um, for dinner, okay? So uh, uh, these are the fish that we caught, the crappies, and uh, this is what I use. Um, I'll be using uh, some uh, uh, pink salt. You could use any kind of salt. Um, I have here about a cup of... Uh, um, Kind of like a, a corn starch, okay? Or they, we call it tapioca starch. It's same thing as a corn starch. And now I'll be using uh, these um, these Indian spice, okay? Um, you could get at any Indian store. And um, uh, these are made for fish. So basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some of these spice into mix along with the uh, tapioca flowers, okay? And then we get a uh, fry them up, but first uh, we need to score the fish So I just lightly score it like so All right, after this, um, we get our tapioca flowers. We uh, sprinkle kind of like uh, just about a tablespoon of salt. We put um, roughly uh, around a uh, teaspoon of these uh, allspice. Uh, these spice right here. Uh, two tablespoons of these, okay. It's a, called it's a fish masala spice. So it's an Indian spice. Like so. Let's come over here. And grab this fork. And I just uh, gently mix them together. And it's going to be a dry batter, okay? It's not going to be a wet one. So it's going to be dry. Um, you could put any amount of salt you wish to put. Uh, depending on how salty you want your fish but uh, I feel that this is the right amount of salt for me for the fish or maybe just a little bit more like this if you wishes All right after you mix it then uh, you will need to uh, um, submerge this fish in okay Okay, spice flower. Okay, Right, so after when everything is incorporated, all you do is just put your fish like this and dry, okay? Make sure your fish is pet dry and then just, just kind of 
kind of put them in here. Okay. And get all the way inside these newts and crammies. And basically we just want a light cover batter. Nothing heavy. And you can smell the aroma coming from the uh, these uh, spice right here. A very unique aroma. There you go. It's like so. And if you guys want to uh, <clears throat> have a thicker batter, then of course, you know, just mix it with water until it gets into a batter consistent. Then you just get a, a submersion inside the batter and, uh, and deep fry it that way too. But uh, uh, I do not like to have a lot of batter on my fish. So that's why I'm doing it this way. All right, here's all the coating right here. Let me uh, kind of wash my hands. Uh, let's transfer the fish over here to the stove. Let me check the temperature in here. It's about 330 degrees right now. So uh, I think this should be uh, nice and uh, high enough. I'm using canola oil. You guys could use peanut oil, olive oil, or whatever oil you guys wish. All, all I do is just submerge it in like this. One fish at a time. So it's going to be fried for at least um, 10 minutes or until it gets golden brown or to the crispiness that you guys wish, okay? So uh, I'll be back with you guys in about 10 minutes and um, I'll pull them out and see how they look like. Alright guys, gals, um, it's been like 10 minutes now. and. Uh, we get to pull them out from the oil but first uh, i'm going to turn off the uh, stove and just kind of like turn your fish upside down like this and i, I like my fish to be especially uh, this size i like them to be uh, extra crispy so that way the thin part of the bones uh, you could just uh, eat it like crackers. Okay, let's put it here. And, uh, yep, let's come over here. <clears throat> Alright. So, what I have here, <clears throat> it's, uh, look at that, guys. It's, it's still hot, though. See? Deep fry crappy right here. Okay. And you can see all these, uh, oh, 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 it's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, you can see all these uh, spice on it. And uh, I normally eat it with with uh, some um, um, red chili right here and rice. And uh, yeah, let's see, uh, <clears throat> let's see how good they are. Um, let's get this one right here. Oh, it's still super hot. Uh, I just pour it off from the oil. I should wait at least like a few more minutes, but anyway, I can't resist it. So see like this part, like the ribs right here. You could just basically chew it just like a cracker. Mmm. Super crispy. And 
Mm. Very good. Just eat it with rice. Like this. And it's basically a uh, it's uh just your utensil right here. <laughs> it's finger food, alright? And uh yeah, I just break it apart like this and just just gnaw on it. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice, very nice. And um here's some bones. Uh, there you go. But basically, just watch out for the bones. <clears throat> basically, this is just pure meat right here. And just eat it with your, um, <coughs> your rice. And over here, I have some uh, spring roll. Uh, some spring, spring roll that my uh, wife makes. Of course, you know, with some uh, um, <coughs> peanut sauce. It goes along good with the shrimp, and um, and also it, it it tastes good with the um, with the fish. So, mmm. Yeah, I normally take some fish like this, like so. They put on my chili like this. The whole punch in there, yeah. Mmm. Very good. All right, guys. Mmm. One second. Wow, it's good. Sorry, guys. I didn't want to talk with my mouth full, but anyway, um, this is how I prepare crappy, especially panfish. Any panfish, you could cook it like this. And like I mentioned, you know, you could basically just eat bone and all. See? Like this, this is where the rib is. Look at that. Mmm. Good. You hear that crunch? Mmm. It's very crunchy. And yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. And, um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, stay safe, okay? Alright. Mm -hmm.